And I found these three fabrics that I really like. So I cleaned out my closet the other day. I ended up with three garbage bags full of garments that I found new homes for. Here are 10 sewing makes that I could not bring myself to part with. New Look 6378. This is a garment that I made years ago out of lace. I don't think I've ever shared it on my channel. I always think I'm going to wear this when I go on vacation as a swimsuit cover up. I love it, but it has never been worn. Simplicity 8636. I think this pattern is the cutest. I have made the dress and I do wear the dress, but this top has never seen the light of day. I don't know why. I think it's cute and I cannot get rid of it. McCall's 8011. This is one of the first denim jackets I ever made. It might be the first. And I did use contrasting denim fabric in the front. It does have two pockets. It can be worn open or closed. And yeah, I think one day I'll get to it. Arlo by Friday Pattern Company. This is a knit jacket. I couldn't wait to make this pattern. The only issue I had was I made the sleeves a little too short, but I love the jacket. It's very comfortable, and I like that it's a little bit cropped. I decided to make the Arlo jacket again in this quilted faux denim fabric and this time I did lengthen the sleeves slightly. I actually really love this jacket. I don't know why I don't reach for it, but I cannot bring myself to get rid of it. Simplicity 9605 this top was a labor of love. It took me forever to get the elastic to go through the bias tape casing in the waist. I do love the top, however. I think it's really cute. I am a big fan of denim, and I am pretty confident that one day I will wear this. Simplicity 8944. I love the drop pockets on this dress. I think I don't wear it because I don't feel like I have anything to go under it that I love with the dress, but I don't plan to get rid of it. And once again, I think I'm going to wear this one day. Simplicity 8738. This dress used to be turquoise and I dyed it blue. The fabric is a t-shirt knit, which is why I don't think I reach for it as much because of the turtleneck and the t-shirt combination. I think if the dress were in a thicker fabric, I would definitely reach for it more often. Vogue 1814. I have a birthday party that I'm going to in about a month and I actually could wear this skirt now that I'm looking at it. I love the skirt. I like that I made it in a neutral. I do wish that I had made a top to match. Quick Sew 3807. These leggings are made in a corduroy stretch knit fabric. They do have a zipper in the hem area which I think is really cute. Why haven't I worn these? No idea, but maybe this year, maybe this fall and this winter, I'll actually wear these. I want some more gingham fabric from Hobby Lobby. I loved that fabric that I used recently to make a vintage dress and top. So I wanna go back and get some more. And they had some really nice colors. I am leaving Michael's right now. I went in Michael's because we're having a couple people over this weekend and we're gonna play like a drawing game. I think it's Pictionary. And I wanted like an easel or a dry erase board. They had some easels and I was thinking we can buy some paper and then put the paper on the easel. Then as I started thinking about it, I said, no, I think the dry erase board would be better. That way we don't have to waste paper. And I didn't see any in Michael's. But I plan to go to Hobby Lobby anyway today and I'm pretty sure 
that I've even seen them in Hobby Lobby. So I think I can get one there without a problem. I am about to grab me something to eat before I do any more shopping. I'm just a little bit hungry. So I better take care of this right now. Hi. May I have the Penne Rosa regular? No cheese and no meat, that's it. Here comes my food. Hi. Thank you so much. So I ordered the Penne Rosa and it is pasta, what is it, mushrooms and spinach. I get this all the time. I love it, love it, love it. So yeah, I'm gonna eat this and then I'll head on my way to my next stop. I'm at Fabric Outlet and I found these three fabrics that I really like. So it's gingham on one side and then it's like this plaid on the other. So they have it in pink that way and then they also have it in green and I love them all. So I'm trying to figure out which one I'm gonna get and I wanna make a dress. So yeah, it's gonna be one of these. I picked up this cotton fabric for a dollar a yard and this is just going to be muslin. I decided to go with the pink. I loved the pink. So yeah, this is so pretty. And then I picked up some denim for a pair of jeans. I picked up the dry erase board from Hobby Lobby. It's a decent size and it was just a little over $12. And since I just picked up that gingham fabric, I decided not to pick up any more fabric. I'm out here bike riding. It's been so long. I believe it's been like over. How long has it been since we went riding last? He's, he said two years. I don't know if it's been that long, but it's been a while. But it's a beautiful day out here and I'm loving getting this exercise. My husband and I really like to play upwards. You can see how beat up this box is. But let me tell you, the rule is whoever loses has to put the game up. So you can see who's putting the game up. Mm-hmm. <laughs>